So that's it for title, description, and keywords. Now let's talk about the actual page content itself. Now, page content is the content on the page, so most of everything you see here. Some of the text that you're looking at is actually an image. Uh, so for example, Kutenda the own one do-it-yourself online marketing tool, uh, or online marketing suite, that's actually an image. So that's not gonna be found by the search engines because they can't read those images very well. Um, the first piece to talk about when we're doing optimization of the actual content on the page is your H1 tag. And this is a heading tag. And really, the search engines are trying to understand what your web page is about. And they know if you're gonna have a section that's maybe a little bolder, bigger, standing out, that text is probably gonna be a good indicator of what your website is about as a whole. So H1 tag is a heading tag. And an example on the Kutenda site, we don't use it up at the top as a heading, but you can see this grow revenue quickly and efficiently with Kutenda's internet marketing tools. That in itself is our H1 tag. It is something that you can see in the code. Uh, it has the H1 on either side of it. And uh, general guidelines for these H1 tags, you're probably just gonna have one H1 tag on your web page. Uh, make sure that it's a primary keyword that you're using in that H1 tag. Make sure that the, the H1 tag is also getting people hooked because understand that when people look at your web page, they're gonna be scanning the information before they actually read anything, if they even read anything. So make sure that uh, since the H1 tag is gonna be a little bit bigger, a little bolder, that it's something that hooks people and gets them to read more and move towards converting into a customer for you. And of course, make it brief. Don't make your entire page a H1 tag. So example, real quick, keyword list, taking our primary keyword, Denver Health Insurance. Example, H1 tags, get quotes now from Denver Health Insurance pros, save huge on Denver Health Insurance, or save today on quality Denver Health Insurance. All these save, save, and get quotes, these are all things that people want when they're looking for insurance. Now the body content, this is the primary content within the page itself. Uh, <clears throat> and the rules around body content are pretty simple, well, pretty straightforward. Uh, minimum of 300 words of content on that page, and the reason that that's important is uh, search engines are looking for good content on the web, and they're going to rank that good content better than what they consider poor content. One of the indicators to them is the amount of text on the page itself. So 300 words is a good guideline of having meaty enough content that search engines are going to think your page is worthwhile. Uh, when you're using your keywords themselves, take that primary keyword and repeat it about six times on the page. Uh, set, use your two secondary keywords about two times each. Um, and these are guidelines. Remember, this isn't something that is hard and fast a lot of times, but this will give you a good saturation at 300 words or more on your page of that keyword to help search engines better understand what your web page is about, which will help them rank it the way you want them to rank it. Uh, also, spread those keywords throughout the content. Uh, use them at the start, in the middle, and at the end. Uh, don't have them all jammed together in one area of the page. Don't repeat them in a very obvious way. And really important, make it readable. Uh, if somebody, if you do the greatest job in the world optimizing a web page, when someone actually gets to your web page and sees the text and it's just a bunch of repeated keywords, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Most likely they're going to not think much of your company and they're going to leave the web page and go look for a different company. So all that optimization work will be for no conversions, no value. So make sure that what you're writing is readable. And finally, help your visitors convert point of writing this content is to get someone in to turn them into a customer. Always keep that in mind when you're writing content and use those keywords, but also make sure that, again, it's readable and it's helping people get to that conversion point on your site. And finally, the last piece I want to talk about is external and internal links. So the links going from one page to another, whether that's within your site or if it's coming from another site to yours. And there's a lot of information uh, around links and getting links and all those things. We want to be real laser focused this, uh, in this video and just talk about using keywords and links. And what that really boils down to is anchor text. And anchor text is the uh, blue and underlined words in a lot of cases that you click on that takes you to a different web page. So in this case, check out this agent for Denver Health Insurance as a good example. Uh, Denver Health Insurance being the anchor text and this is using that keyword, uh, or get your Colorado health insurance quote. And again, uh, what's happening here is 
a search engine is going to look at this linking text and say, okay, if somebody is actually using this text to link to a different web page, this is probably going to help me understand the meaning of the web page that's being linked to. So it's important to recognize that when you have links on your website pointing to other pages on your website, or if someone else is linking to you, whatever that anchor text is, is going to help search engines understand the meaning of your page. So kind of the guidelines around anchor text, uh, use your targeted primary or secondary keywords as your anchor text um, and vary your anchor text where possible. The search engines are getting very good at finding unnatural looking anchor text. And what that means is, is everybody who links, if everyone who links to uh, Denver Health Insurance site links to it with the exact same words, Denver Health Insurance, that's going to look a little unnatural. And it, what could happen is the search engine could say, okay, they're trying to manipulate the search rankings, so let's not give them credit every time. So varying that text instead of Denver Health Insurance could be Health Insurance Denver, find uh, insurance in Denver, uh, find health insurance in Denver, something of that sort. All those variations can help uh, make it look more natural and that will help you rank well and keep the value of those links you're getting. And that kind of brings to the point, uh, something that commonly happens on the internet is somebody will link to you with click here or something of that type. Um, that's fine. It looks natural. It happens quite a bit on the internet. So don't get overly worried about it unless it's a web page of high value in your eyes linking to you. And then you might want to approach that individual linking to you if it is external to your site and ask them to change that link text to something that you want. And finally, if it's an image, uh, you can put the keyword in the alt tag and the alt tag is basically the text that shows up if a, if a uh, image does not load and you can put a keyword in there and what will happen is a search engine will look at that alt tag and that will give them a better understanding of what that link is about. So something to keep in mind when you're creating your pages and putting images in. And that, in a very quick nutshell, is title tag, meta description, meta keywords, page content with H1 tags, and internal and external linking for the site. All the things that you're going to want to use your geographically modified keywords uh, to take and then put those uh, into your web page to rank better on the search engines. Um, one thing to mention is that the Kutenda tool does a lot of these things uh, for you or helps you do these more effectively. So if you aren't currently a Kutenda customer, I would highly suggest that you check us out. Um, the inline SEO or on-page SEO keyword tool that we have, um, you can get your keywords together, you can take those and plug them into the different pages that you have and it can really help you get this process done efficiently and do a, do a very nice job with it. Um, so enough for trying to sell you on Kutenda. Um, that's the end of Geo SEO using geographically targeted keywords in, search, in the search engine optimization process. Next time we're going to talk about using those geographically modified keywords we came up with for the local listings optimization process. Uh, so that's something to stay tuned for. I'm James Amdahl from Kutenda, where we're helping you take action and succeed online to drive more traffic to your business. Really appreciate you listening today and looking forward to teaching you more next time.